And the waterfall next to the road on our way to Chiang Rai. We just found this waterfall right next to the road and it's so beautiful once again crystal clear water beautiful sun rays against the cliff and a nice flat surface to walk and play on and it's not slippery amazingly even if the sign posts say it is slippery it isn't so much fun here at this waterfall and I just uh, decided to stop quickly and to see what it is about and I ended up swimming here and spending almost an hour or two playing in the water and now it's getting dressed and dry Burger because we feel like a hamburger, but uh, uh, we got good reviews from him uh, uh, for he Heaven Burger, and that seems like a nice breakfast for us. All right, yes, Heaven Burger, we're gonna try it. Seems like it's open and busy. One table, and it's full. Okay, Heaven Burger. It's full inside, we're sitting outside, which is also quite nice. I'm Are you eating the whipped cream off? That is an extra five baht, I think. Mm. I have the nicest, strongest coffee. The coffee is divine. I've lost my iced coffee. What you wouldn't do for a beloved child. That's weird. What Vincent. you wouldn't give up for a beloved child. Well, I think you might still have your iced coffee, maybe what? just not your cream. What? Ice Can't you see? Here's our burgers. And that's why they are so famous. For burgers like these. Here at Heaven Burger. Extremely nice burgers as you've seen on the footage. A small little shop not far from the clock tower in Chiang Rai. Very small with limited seats. But boy is it worth it definitely thumbs up for me uh, it's probably the first burger i've had in six months apart from mcdonald's burgers and this was a divine burger and taxla <laughs> <laughs> you had it you deserve it you deserve okay, so it yeah, burger i mean it's not only burgers they serve pizza and breakfast as well, so you can come here for any of these dishes. 
And these two has a grudge against daddy because daddy is too strict and too disciplined with him. And you can get a nice Thai massage next door. Daddy? So that was it for Haven Burger or Burger Haven. Just around the corner from the clock tower. Very, very, very nice. I will recommend it, definitely. So what's there to do in Chiang Rai? Well, one of them is this clock tower. Beautiful clock tower, it's part of a circle. At night, 7 a.m., uh, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. it plays a tune and it switches uh, to different colors. We are in Chiang Rai at the moment. We arrived last night and we were able to see the beautiful clock tower in the city center. And now we are off to go and explore the White Temple. Apparently it's beautiful. And this is the street of Chiang Rai. The main street, I guess. With these beautiful golden pillars. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know. I think it's street lights actually. Absolutely gorgeous. And that leads to the street clock. What's it the, the clock tower in the city center. Yes, the clock tower with all the nice features that comes on at 7 in the evening. To do at Chiang Rai, if you have so many women in your family as I do, shopping is always first on the list. Lots of shops here in Chiang Rai. Kap kun kap. having so much fun and made some friends here and now they are sliding down the hills so much fun
Go, go. Go, go. Whoa. How was it? Fun. I'm going to do one with such a hat. Okay. okay, cool. I don't think I can do it. Let's go. You're having fun. It's the best day ever. We are off to the Chiang Rai night bazaar to go and see what's going on there. Apparently it's a must do when you're in Chiang Rai. So let's go see what's going on. Hostels are also everywhere at fantastic prices. 200 baht or 250 with breakfast included, mixed dorm. Mommy, can I say for you something? Yes. This looks like it's so weird. It's bizarre. It's bizarre, I know. At the Chiang Rai Night Bazaar. And this is the food court. And we're hoping there's going to be a show tonight, so fingers crossed. This is the kind of market I really love. You can go and order your food at the stalls and you go and sit and they will bring it to you whenever it's ready. So you don't need to walk around trying to eat and there's people bumping you. You come and you sit down and they'll bring your food and you can have it in peace. This is a place of mixed fried goodies, some vegetables, carrots, beans, uh, I think this whole fish as well if you dig deep enough, prawn, onion rings and they are having chicken nuggets and the all time favorite french fries. So everybody having a ball tonight and the hot pot is a big hit. Huh? Unfortunately no show tonight. The stage is empty. But the food is going. The side, the side. Come to ice. Still a bit asleep. Early morning in Chiang Rai. It's the day of the cremation of the king. So hopefully our favorite place here in Chiang Rai will be will still be come, give me a hand, give me a hand. Will still be open. It will be open. It's just after eight. I open at eight. Uh, it's where they it's called Haven Burger. Or Haven Burger, perhaps better. And it's such a nice place to have a burger. And if you're familiar with Thailand, burgers are not. Oh, it's closed. All right, breakfast. Not here. Shall we drive on and see what's on the way? Daddy. We have peanuts. I have a, a big disappointment. Not a surprise so much because we kind of expected things to be uh, disrupted today, but a disappointment nonetheless. It seems like the hair salon is open. Do you want to do your hair quickly while we wait for the breakfast? All right, so we move on. You look for a, sp a spot on our way? Cool. Okay ladies, get in the car. It's the end of Chiang Rai. We're saying goodbye to Chiang Rai. We're now on our way to Pai. So from Chiang Rai, it's Pai. So the way, we, the way we're going to drive, it's a six hour drive. We're going to go up north instead of back south again through Chiang Mai. We're going to go north and explore that side of the country uh, on our way to Pai. Six hours instead of five hours. So it's not much, much of a difference.